Hey, what's up there guys? Core here with Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at another netbook, ultrabook here. This is the Acer Aspire V5. Uh, this is the 11.6 inch model. They do have a 14 and a 15. But uh, the fact that this is a small 11 inch uh, you know, laptop here, all with a Ivy Bridge Core i5 processor for a great price, just makes it uh, the star of the show today. So we have the box as you can see but the uh, the main thing here is the actual laptop we know it comes in boxes and it's always pretty generic that consists of charger a little bit of cords and a little bit of dust off screen so we're gonna go ahead and dive right in here to the actual laptop and as you can see here it is they have a nice chiclet style layout for the keyboard and uh, got what they call a next gen uh, trackpad it does have a little bit of a a textury finish to it that makes it a little unique um, as you slide your finger but when you move it quite quickly it works pretty well but as you can see here um, it's got a nice gray finish we're gonna go ahead and run around it real quick you can see the Acer branding and uh, it's not extremely thin but it's under you know under three pounds so it's pretty lightweight so overall I mean it's decent it's just not quite as thin as some of the things we've seen in the past and they have that bulky battery kind of attached to the back right here which is removable with the uh, the little button here so as we make our way around just to show everyone we have the uh, cooling which is to help what is conveniently the dual core core i5 Ivy Bridge processor here which is nice for the low price of 500 that this laptop comes in so we have the Ethernet little uh, output there if you'd like to output to another uh, monitor but much rather use the HDMI out and then USB 3.0 I don't know who uses that these days anymore. VGA and all. Then around to the side, the Kensington lock, the power port, which is proprietary, but you know, pretty standard for what we've seen uh, from most things thus far. Two regular USB ports, and the microphone, headphone, pin. Then as we look around here, right here is a two in one port for additional storage, which is SD slot. So that's nice, and then they have a four cell uh, lithium ion battery. Let's go ahead and open it up here one more time. So as we can see, I mean, it's, it's fairly sleek. And uh, like, I, like I mentioned, it's, it's extremely lightweight. Um, being only 500, it's, it's you know, maybe had a little bit of wobble, wobble to the uh, screen, but overall, it is a pretty good quality, um, especially given the price. So you can see down there on the bottom the Acer Aspire logo it doesn't say V5 anywhere on it but not bad we do have Windows 7 which should be pretty much expected by now so go ahead and boot in there real quick and uh, over the specs here we have a little bit of info on the box for you but as you can see here the 11.6 inch display is a decent little LED uh, backlit 11.6 inch screen it's got the Intel HD graphics with the uh, Intel uh, integrated 4000. It's got 6 gigabytes of DDR3 memory and obviously this being a budget friendly device here um, you're not going to get any solid state drive but we do have a 500 gigabyte hard drive and then uh, as you notice there's no optical drive but you do have the three USB ports which should give you plenty and uh, that is about it here. We have uh, Microsoft Office 2010 preloaded and of course as you can see down below Windows 7 which is the 64-bit and the Intel Core i5 processor so overall pretty impressive um, I do have the uh, little bit of preseason live NFL package and uh, it actually worked quite well streaming with the HDMI out to big screen TV the Core i5 and even the integrated graphics handled that quite well but stay tuned for our full review and plenty of pictures thanks for watching guys